Hey everyone, this is Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. With the release of our workflow feature, we've made a few updates to both the build page and the entries page. In this video, we'll take a quick look at these changes and get acquainted with your new and improved forms. You may have already noticed the most obvious change to the builder. We've added a new workflow menu. From here, you can set up multiple actions, statuses, and roles to create a complete automated workflow. In addition to these new capabilities, some of the existing options from the Submission Settings menu are still available. These options are now tied to specific actions under the workflow menu, such as Submit and Update. In terms of email, all of your existing email notifications still exist and will continue to work. To access the notification settings, select the Submit action from the Workflow menu or the Submit button at the bottom of the form. Here you can customize all the details associated with the Submit action, including the button text, confirmation message, and email settings. In the main Workflow menu, you'll find two other existing features save and resume, and workflow link sharing. Save and resume works just the same as it did before. Workflow link sharing, on the other hand, used to be in the form settings menu under a different name, allow entry link sharing. This feature is now intertwined with the new workflow roles, which allow you to control who has access to the links and when they're available. If you previously sent any entry view links from your form, you'll see a reviewer role type. Reviewer roles are reserved for these read-only links to ensure that they continue to work. We made some minor tweaks to the form settings menu. As I noted earlier, the allow entry link sharing option has been renamed and moved to the workflow menu. Additionally, two of the integration options from the old submission settings menu have been moved here. Post JSON data to a website, and send to Microsoft SharePoint. Like Save and Resume, these options work just the same as they did before. The new entries page is very similar to the old one in terms of the general layout and functionality. However, we've added a few enhancements to make viewing and managing entries even easier. For example, you no longer need to choose between four default entry status options. The new statuses feature in the workflow menu gives you the ability to create up to 20 custom entry statuses with color icons. When you want to change an entry status, you can use the change status option in the actions dropdown or set up an action button at the bottom of the form. Please note that changing an entry status will no longer trigger email notifications or integrations. We've also updated the menu options at the top of the individual entry view. You can still create documents and print or delete entries as before, but we've broken up the share dialog into two options, share and email. The share function enables you to send a link, while the added email function enables you to manually send an email from the entries page. Finally, we removed the edit button from the bottom of the entry. Now you can select any of the form fields to switch the form into edit mode and save or discard your changes as needed. Plus, you can perform different workflow actions directly from here. For example, if you've set up approve and deny actions on your form, those options will be available depending on the entry status. If you have any questions about the new workflow feature or any of the changes mentioned in this video, be sure to get in touch with us.